things are gonna get spicy here in a little bit. We had some good thunder last night. Lightning, something hit right here close to the house. It was the loudest smack, the craziest sound I've ever heard. And you heard like a vibration through like the metal tin roof. And then within split seconds later, you saw the flash. And then seconds later was like the loudest thunder I've ever heard that rattled the entire house. Craziest thing ever. Happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Taco Tuesday only to be accompanied by corona virus how appropriate is this it's like it all lined up it was, it was like on purpose it's crazy so busy morning already ran and got some carne asada this morning from one of our favorite uh, little mexican uh, markets down here um, they're limiting carne asada to three pounds a family that's crazy that's like serious stuff we need we need more carne asada than that yeah after i mean california cinco de mayo was a big deal so many good friends we would share cinco de mayo with with fantastic cooking just authentic mexican cooking there's nothing like it we've tried in tennessee but we can't replace it we've tried and, and it's close but it's just not authentic so got some carne asada ready for that tonight uh stop by rule king i've had my eye on this a couple of these have been in the parking lot in the free wood section for quite some time now okay Okay, I'll come over there with the camera. Been eyeing those for a little bit. Uh, just, I thought it would be cool as a chicken coop. It's got layers and stuff, so I'm gonna add to this, see if it gives the girls like some new nesting boxes or new areas to chill out. So, thought that would be cool. I'm gonna try adding that in. What, what do you need to tell them? Go ahead. Are you gonna say anything? No? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So it rained. She has mud. She's happy. She's not hot. That's what that's what I think it was, right? Oh. Okay. Oh. For Cinco de Mayo, no carnitas tacos, right? No carnitas. Only carne asada or pollo, huh? Yes. No carnitas tacos from the pig. So I'm gonna get that unloaded really quick I'm by myself. So this is probably gonna be a disaster, but we'll see. Get that unloaded, get that over there before uh, the storms come in. I don't want it to get too soaked. So I'm trying to get it under the tree a little bit so there's some coverage. We'll hammer out some more of the cornhole boards that we're building for Ant. Got a couple of new cool pieces. Uh, they are all painted. Maybe we could put the top sheet on, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens right now. Uh, but I need to get this out ASAP. I haven't even, I haven't even done anything. I just set it there. I already like it. Be perfect. Be perfect. Just gotta figure out where I'm gonna incorporate it on here as the extension goes. Just gotta put some more wire on the outside. Just kind of make it different levels. Make nesting boxes in each one. Easy access to them if they do start nesting in there. I don't know. I just, I thought it would work. I thought it'd be a good idea. So we'll leave that there. Uh, wait until after the storms and stuff. We'll probably work on it tomorrow. Uh, that'll give us some time and some dry weather. Gonna get it to work on the cornhole boards and then uh, see if we can get those wrapped up. And that's it. We have outer lights to go around here. So if you start playing it like nighttime or in the evening or something like that, it'll look cool because you got the glow coming from here. We got blue ones. So we're gonna get those put in first. We go get batteries, see what these look like. All right. Let's put these bad boys in. Well, that's lame. There's no freaking spring. Well, that sucks. So, 
trusty old Amazon didn't send this piece that bridges the two together. So it's fine, we can put foil in it for right now, but we're going on Amazon. We're gonna, we're gonna send a picture. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Then. Ooh. See, that looks so cool, like glowing through. I like it. That's good, all right. I'm happy with that. Only if we had a working set. The nice thing is, I ordered two sets. We should be good to go, as long as this one isn't defective. All right, that one's full, we're good. Got the other side of the legs painted. Those are drying, put another coat on those. Got the lights in. I don't really want to rush the paint. I hate rushing paint uh, because my luck, I never seem to have good luck with paint. Like it's never dry and it always ends up chipping or something. So I'm, I'm trying to be patient with it. Uh, so I'm just, I'm waiting for these storms. I'm just enjoying the closest I can get to a Michelada right now. Close as I can get to it. I would pay the $26, I would, I would pay double. I would pay $52 to be sitting at Dodger Stadium right now drinking a Michelada, like an authentic one. It's one thing that I definitely miss is authentic Mexican food from Southern California. You just can't replace it, you can't. You can get close. There's a lot of, a lot of places out here that do a great job and they get very close. It's one of the hardest things to replicate unless you're authentic, you're an imposter, that's it. That's it, I'm sorry, you can't, you can get close. East Tennessee is close. Two words that don't associate well with East Tennessee and that's authentic Mexican, unfortunately. We're gonna change that though, maybe. We need, we need more authentic out here. Yeah, cheers to Cinco de Mayo everybody, hope you're doing well. Yeah.